Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King 053, Mr. Easy Imali Enengi Nengi. And we're back at it again with another one. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the support that you are always giving me. I really appreciate it. I know people are watching me from all over the world. So shout out to South Africa, South Africans, you guys uh, at home, Cape Town, um, Beggars Fort, Limpopo, uh, Midrand, uh, Centurion, Kimberley, Durban, Eastern Cape, Limpopo, everywhere you guys are, are always I always I always tune. Shout out to Zambia. Shout out to to Mozambique. Shout out to Zimbabwe. Shout out to Namibia. You guys are always around supporting your boy. Shout out to uh, the DRC Congo. Shout out to the three big giants of South Africa: Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. And shout out to the UK for always watching. The Bahamas are always here. And South Arabia is also here. Uh, Arabia countries, uh, they are here. Thank you so much. And then uh, th thank you so much to the USA for always tuning in. Guys, we have to speak about Ike uh, Kumalo. I think Upra Ike, he needs help. I am now fully convinced that Ike is not speaking out of his own mind anymore. I'm fully convinced. I'm fully convinced, convinced 100%. White Monopoly have got its hand up Ike's ass and it's speaking through him. It is not possible for a black person to hate his own and hate himself like this, like this guy. I thought Penwell, the black pen, was the worst of, of, of all. And I, I said I, I will stop making videos about this type of people. But... Education is important, and sometimes uh, when um, when people uh, post rubbish on Facebook, people who are lazy to think will only accept it as true. And as a pan-Africanist, I cannot allow such things to slide, you understand, to slide without me saying anything. So let's listen to what the stupid... Um, like Kumalo, I will never apologize. You guys can go in the comment section and say, King, do not um, do not uh, be vulgar. Don't do whatever. I will never apologize when someone comes at, at the black culture. Once you attack the black culture, for me, you are no longer a friend. So don't, don't even start on the comment section. I'm not apologizing for anything. I don't like Ike Kumalo. I don't like what he's doing to, to Africans. I don't like the way he's speaking. I don't respect any human being. Any human being that says apartheid is better than democracy, I don't respect it. When we consider how many people have died, how many people have suffered, and the impact of the apartheid system that is still working till today, that is affecting us as black people. Anyone that has a stance to say apartheid was better, I don't give a shit about those people. That's the honest truth. So um, I'm expecting the haters, of course, on the comment section. That's why I'm, I'm clearing that one out, that don't expect an apology from me. Let's listen quickly to um, the, the, the confused advocate. Uh, the, not the advocate. I think he's a lawyer. Criminal lawyer. People who are arrested for defrauding people. But anyway, we'll get into that. Um, Ike Kumalo. You know, you know, I was looking at the statistics, the latest statistics. They say if the statistics are a true reflection, the number of white people since 1994 is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I can tell you, and I know most people saying, hey, you Ike, you love white people, forget that. But I can tell you, in all the African countries where the number of white people has dwindled, oh, white people have left that country in numbers. That country becomes a shithole country. We have to, ladies and gentlemen, clear the, 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 the shit that Ike is saying. You understand? But also, 
when things like this happen, you need to be, um, you need to attack things um, with a, a open mind and a clear mind. Because I, I don't ever make mistakes when people I don't like, when they speak, I don't listen because I don't like them. I always listen. I always listen. I'm willing to learn. And I, I know that the universe will hide some codes through your enemies. And when they speak, because you're not listening, you might miss something. He says, every country in Africa where white people are living turns into a shithole. That's a big word to use. We need examples. Can you guys give me an example of an African country where white people left and then um, it turned into a shithole? Yeah, you're thinking because you don't know of any country. Some of you are thinking Zimbabwe. Let me tell you something. Zimbabwe is better now than it was in its colonizers. I'll say it again. Zimbabwe is better now than it was it, it, uh, when it was co uh, being colonized by the British, I think. The lives of Zimbabweans is a mess because of the sanctions that are, are opposed on Zimbabwe. And even through the sanctioning, they still try to run an economy. It bet better if you leave my house and I struggle in my house to buy bread. Then you come into my house, you buy bread for me, and you control my life. You control my movement. You control my thinking pattern. And there's nothing I can do. Zimbabwe will be a powerhouse again. Zimbabwe just needs a proper government. This current government is stealing for its own self. We saw with the Gold Mafia documentary from Al Jazeera, of which we cannot fully 100% trust because if the story is not, it's not told by us, it's told by our colonizers, we must be careful. But there is some truth in there because they had video evidence, we cannot debate it. Every country where white people left turned into a shithole. Give me an example. I'm waiting, ladies and gentlemen, because some of you are saying Ike is right. Like which country? And please don't say South Africa. Don't, don't even start to talk nonsense. South African white population has, uh, from 2011 to 2022, um, it went from 9% to 7%. Let them go. Remember, these people, some of them are not going. They are retaining where they come from. They are not from here. When you go, you are from here. If I leave... South Africa and go straight in Australia. I have I, I I have left South Africa for Australia for greener pastures. But if a white person leaves, they're not from here. Let them go. We will figure things out. It's fine. We will we will we will do good. Let's listen quickly to his second clip. And you check even here in South Africa, majority of its development was built when white people were in power, the suburbs, the things that we have destroyed, things that we inherited, SOEs, suburbs, you go to Rivonia, it's dying, Sentin is a dying suburb. Hmm? We chase white people, their schools. Africa, African child, stop looking, uh, stop looking down on yourself. African child, wake up and, and open your eyes. I wish we can get a picture of Senten before 1994 and Senten today. The richest square mile in Africa. Senten. You want me to believe. Hmm? You want me to believe that Senten was better in apartheid days than it was in, uh, in the current uh, uh, stage. Do you know why? It's because you don't want black people in Senten. Senten used to serve the elites. But unfortunately, the population, or fortunately, for the population of South Africa is growing and people are flocking to Johannesburg, sitting at, I think, 15 million people in Johannesburg. I mean, in Gauteng. So people are flocking there to hustle for the better life. 
and i'm telling you guys stay in your in your rural areas and make business there that's where the money is some of you are better staying there and making money there and solving problems there to make money but anyway that's a topic for another day it says um everyone knows it is common sense that african people are the ones that build johannesburg from all over you you remember the train the the song of Abraham Sikela, there is a train coming from Mozambique, a train coming from Zimbabwe, from Zambia, a train from Maputo, a train from everywhere bringing the, the African slaves to come to South Africa and build uh, the gold mines and mine the diamonds and build Africa. We build Johannesburg. I don't know what is this guy talking about. Look at the suburbs that are popping out in in um limpopo everywhere in south africa you see beautiful people building beautiful houses in fact i come from such a, a place i i told you guys i'm from kwandebel but in kwandebel i'm from a place called kwamhlanga now kwamhlanga is a beautiful place a beautiful township a beautiful township you will think you are in town driving through the streets of kwandebel when you look at the houses of kwamhlanga i mean uh, looking at the houses i'm i'm so proud of people of kwamhlanga the way they build their houses i'll see if i can play a video for you guys if i can find it the beauty of kwamhlanga's house and architecture uh, buildings is it's for me it is almost unmatched it it was recently matched with Limpopo, you know, building the uh, uh, tender perennials, um, what you call suburb and all that. But when we look at the the age of the the the, the township, Kwamhlanga is probably one of the best in 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 Pumalanga. In some of the in some of the suburbs in town in Kimberley, when I drive around, I'm like, yo, if you put houses of Kwamhlanga here, they will make this suburb look like a township. You understand what I'm saying? Kwamhlanga is a beautiful place. We Africans are building, are building beautiful houses. Please, my African brothers and sisters, do not forget this. Don't listen to people like Bo Ike to convince you that you are doing nothing, that you are sitting on your ass. Look around. When you look around, you can see that Africans, we are making progress. Let's listen more to what uh, Ike uh, is saying. And I know when I talk like this, somebody will tell me about our team back to that black people discovered mathematics numbers about Salamanca University in Spain, you know, about Alexander, the black popes. I know that. I've read that long a time ago, before there was internet, when we were still using my encyclopedia. Was it encyclopedia? I was a knowledge gangster, you know, like Dr. Khalid Muhammad, we used to read those days, read books. So people now, they want to tell me that, you know, the dark ages, I'm talking the last 700 years, the last 60 years, rather, the last 20 years, the last 30 years, darkies are losing. We are losing. We are forever chasing. But I can tell you, white people are losing. I want to get this i want to get rid of this attitude that darkies are losing that we black people are losing we're not losing we're not losing especially you south africans you are not losing look at how many countries in africa are flocking to south africa for a better life why would they come here if you guys are losing hmm? He says he was a knowledge doctor. He's a he's a knowledge doctor. He's been reading in, in uh, before internet was fashionable. Before anything was, he says, for the last twenty years, last thirty years, South Af uh, Africa is losing. Are you not waking up to what is happening in West of Africa with uh, Chad, Burkina Faso, uh, Mali, and Niger, to name a few? And you are you not waking up to the wars that are happening in 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 um in the DRC? Are you not waking up to the wars that are happening in Ethiopia, the only country that was never colonized in Africa? Why do you think white people are fighting us so much 
refusing to leave how many times did the 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 ambassador of france refused to leave niger burkina faso Chad, refusing to leave mali why is it that they are refusing to leave our country our continent it's because they know we will make more money it is only ibrahim Touré, the great mali soldier 34 years old who said, I'm taking back the gold mines in Burkina Faso. Nobody's going to mine and it does not benefit my country. I'm going to make a nice video about Ibrahim. I've been postponing this for some time now. Ibrahim doing, Ibrahim making crazy moves. In some of the French col colonized countries, when they left, when French left 60 years ago, they pour concrete into the sewage pipes so that you must start from scratch. They pour sewage. Imagine someone in your town, in your town, pouring sewage in the um, uh, concrete so that your, your shit must not flow. You can imagine how much damage and how much back is that going to set you as a, as a town. Now imagine they do that the whole country. That is the evilness of French, of the French people. That's what they did. And they continue to loot Africa till today. When you talk about Senegal, when you talk about um, uh, Ivory Coast, when you talk about Cote d'Ivoire, when you talk about Cameroon, when you talk about... Um, Nigeria, when you talk, they still continue to loot those countries till today. Uh, France is still running those countries. It is only the, the few countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Chad, um, Chad and um, um, Niger that are fighting to kick out these people. And it's been working. The lives of our African people are getting better because we are now owning our own minerals. The last 30 years, South Africa has been doing good. It can do better because we are mismanaging some of these things. But the problem is, and I always tell my South African brothers and sisters is they, what they don't understand. South Africa is not ran by the ANC government. There's other powerhouses behind what we call white monopoly capitalists that are still capitalizing on the government. Why? Because they own the, they own the economy. The, the GDP, they own it. They are the ones that are doing the most contribution on agriculture. They are the ones doing the most contribution on the mining sector. You understand what I'm saying? The financial sector, the, the banks, the everything. They are the ones that are secretively still running our country. But if within that, all that wrong, that all missed because our government is allowing them, we are still doing good in South Africa. We can do better. That's why we are voting for the EFF. That's why we are. That's why we are moving. We want change. That's why South Africans want change. Whether it's gonna be change within the ANC or change by the EFF, I don't know. But South Africans want change. Let's listen. Two more. Two more videos. Then I'm done with you guys. Mm -hmm. We haven't progressed, but I can tell you, which is sad. Whenever white people leave an African country, that country becomes a shithole. You can check even go Haiti, even go Harlem, they leave the city. It becomes a ghetto. And what does it say about us? What's that saying about us? We need to be honest, you know, and look inward. All the suburbs that were built were built during apartheid. We're chasing them. Parliament, union buildings, hospitals, stadiums. Hmm. Yeah, it is sad. Yeah, uh, as I was, uh, I thought I was going to do more of this video. This video is like five minutes something. Uh, so I wanted to do a review of the whole video. But the more I'm listening to it, I'm like, man, I'm wasting my time with this shit. I'm really wasting my time with this shit, you know. But we Africans, um, if you have a solution, give us the solution. 
It's so easy to sit down and criticize. So easy. Anyone can do it. Any fool with a cell phone can grab the phone and criticize someone, something, some, some movement, some, some whatever. But when you when you say here's the here's the, here's the, an opportunity, what is the solution? What are you doing? What can you do? How can you help? Nobody has a word to say. The level of self hate that Bra Ike has, and the level of um, they call it inferior, um, the way he suffers. Oh my God! The way he's suffering with inferior complexity, or inferior, I guys, English is even running away. It's it's painful, guys, to watch such videos is for me it's painful to watch such videos and look at a, a a full man who was in the anc uh but he these comrades turned against him because of this character because of this character you know in, in the back in the in the in the old days a sell out like i would have not have survived in the anc and he did not survive that's why he never got into government he then chased the, the studies and, and studied law and then started cheating people with contracts and everything. He was arrested. I mean, you ca you can you cannot depend on people like Ike to speak. I would be so happy if people like Ike can just stand up one day and say, listen, I'm doing one, two, three. This is the solution I think government must do. I think we African people must grow by doing one, two, three, four, five. That's all. That's all. But because they are power hungry and they want attention and white people see this and that's why they are funding some of these uh, youtubers some of these um, celebrities he's not a celebrity but the social media um, celebrities they are funding them pen well the black pen is funded he's also fun there are many others that are funded that i can talk about but it will be just a waste of energy chasing against these people because we need to get to a point where we when the young people watch us, the older people, I'm in my 30s. When a boy of 19 years old, 18 years old is watching my YouTube channel, what is it that he can learn? When he watches one of my videos, what is it that he can take out for him to be a better black uh, African man? What is it that he will learn? There's nothing that you can tell me from watching all Ike's video that you have learned and it changed you to be a better person. Absolutely nothing. And for that reason, that's why I, 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 and I have to edit this rubbish that I just did now with Ike. I'm going to do that and finish, but I'm, I'm so bored, you know, uh, doing this work. There's, there's other things I want to speak about. South Africa is having this twist, uh, this fight of, uh, Pakistani, Somalis, tax shops and everything and the township economy. South Africa, is, is, it looks like they, there will be movement and traction in South Africans realizing that they need to open their own shops in competition as this. How is the government going to help? What is going on? Those are the type of things that we should be talking about, things that take us forward. Not Bo Aik Kumalo. Yo! Guys, until next time, thank you so much. We are doing good with the with the subscription. I, I appreciate it so much. I wish everyone that is watching the channel can subscribe, click the like button, smash the, the bell icon so that you guys can know every time I upload a video. And then um, you please leave your thoughts on the comment section. Always leave your thoughts. I like thinking. Uh, I like hearing what you are thinking and sometimes it makes me grow and the uh, encouragement, message of encouragement that you guys leave on the comment section. Sometimes when I feel like I don't want to do a video and uh, YouTube just notifies me of a of a message and it's, it's one of you guys saying, King, good job, you're doing well. And I just stand up and just do another video. Thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. Africans, it's going to be all right. If you don't listen... If you don't listen to anything I said, listen to this. Africans, it's going to be okay. We, we're going to figure it out. It's all right. We're going to be the powerhouse of the world. Africans, do not lose hope. Till we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And just know that your boy King 053, Mr. Easy Malining, salutes you.